This is Stephanie Hansen for Ecoimagination.com. Kenya is the economic hub of East Africa with vibrant banking and tourism industries, but it's still a low-income country. The majority of Kenyans don't have electricity, and businesses pay some of the highest power tariffs in the world. If Kenya wants to become a developed country, it needs access to cheaper energy. Luckily, it's blessed with abundant geothermal resources. The Kenyan government thinks it should be able to capitalize on its steam in the same way that Middle Eastern countries have benefited from oil. It recently held a conference in Nairobi, the capital, to put on a show for potential international investors and to prove that they have the capacity to develop their geothermal resources responsibly. Kenya is one of the few countries in Africa that actually have functioning geothermal power plants. But investors are still skeptical. One international power company representative told me he was concerned that the bidding process for the contract to build power plants would be corrupt. Others said that they didn't fully understand how Kenya's state-run companies would be involved in the power sector. Representatives from those state-run companies made optimistic PowerPoint presentations showing the tremendous power potential in Kenya and their ability to explore and drill for it at a reasonable cost. All the same, they're looking for a tremendous amount of money. The head of the geothermal development company called for $20 billion in investment to reach Kenya's target to generate 5,000 megawatts of power from geothermal by 2030. This is about five times the power that Kenya currently generates from all sources. The head of a regional geothermal facility told me, if we don't think big, we won't make it happen.